Welcome back. Well, 50 years ago to the day, the Civil Rights Act was signed into law in the United States, outlawing discrimination based on race, colour, religion, sex or origin. Many people died to support that law, but President Lyndon Johnson faced an epic battle to get it done. He had opposition from some politicians who wanted to maintain segregation in the southern states of America. And the Ku Klux Klan, well, they made their feelings known too. That summer, the group took to the streets in protest and earlier in the program we saw how though weakened they are still active in some parts of America well a little earlier I spoke to the prominent civil rights campaigner Reverend Al Sharpton he joined us from America half a century on I asked him whether to paraphrase Martin Luther King Americans are now finally judged by the content of their character or by the color of their skin I think that we are closer to being judged by the character but I do not think we're there yet. I think 50 years ago when President Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act, it removed the apartheid in America where we could go use public accommodations, a year later vote all over the country. But we still have a nation that still has very stark racial inequality. We're still doubly unemployed. We still can't get the same business contracts. We still have a glass ceiling in the corporate world. So I think the Civil Rights Act of 50 years ago began a march toward freedom and equality. We've got the freedom with public accommodations. We are yet to be all the way equal. We're a long way from where we were, but we have not arrived. I was just looking at some numbers from a CBS News poll about discrimination just released yesterday, and that says that 78% of Americans think there has been real progress in getting rid of racial discrimination. Uh, amongst, uh, when you break that down by race, 82% of white people say that there has been real progress, 59% of black people. So the numbers are in the right direction, you would say, but what do you think needs to be done more? Well, even those numbers show you the gap. A lot more of a higher percentage of whites feel there's been progress than blacks, even though it's a majority of blacks, and even though I do. But it's very telling because the people that are the victims of discrimination are far less uh, uh, in that assessment than others. I think that what has to be done is there must be an intentional drive to close the gap. We must intentionally close the gap in terms of jobs and in terms of contracts and in terms of education, which is why this Supreme Court, in reversing things like voting rights and other courts in reversing affirmative action, they're in reversing what is needed to intentionally bring about the solution. Lyndon Johnson didn't just say 50 years ago today, let's just hope that one day we'll do better. He intentionally signed the Civil Rights Act to address the issues, and it will not happen uh, today without intent. And, and briefly, uh, the other campaigns, other civil rights campaigns, say for same-sex marriage rights, uh, re se sexual and reproductive health rights, uh, the rights of Christian minorities to practice their religion uh, freely. Uh, are they inspired by the civil rights, do you think? Do you think they would have happened if it wasn't for that Civil Rights Act? I think that they were inspired by the civil rights movement of 50 years ago, and even those of us that are out here today dealing with racial profiling and other things, and we support them. But I think that we've emboldened others to stand up for what is right and equal for them by our standing up and continuing to stand up. That was a Re Reverend Al Sharpton speaking to me a few minutes ago from New York, about 50 years since the Civil Rights Act was signed in America.